An alternative way to group together data for a parameterized test comes in the form of the at CSV source annotation. Using comma-separated strings, this makes for a very concise way of declaring data. In this example, we add together a few card values and check their sum against an expected result. The parameterized test gets four parameters, and we'll have three rows of data to feed to it, so Jupyter will generate three cases out of this method in total. The four method arguments are aggregated automatically from the CSV data. CSV data can be used to drive the generation of parameterized tests through string values on the source annotation itself. However, it's probably more common to host comma-separated values in a different file altogether. Again, JUnit Jupyter has a solution here. Using the at CSV file source annotation, the test engine will read in a resource file and generate test cases for each row inside of that file. The annotation is highly configurable, so you can specify the encoding, delimiters, and lines to skip if required. The file is located inside the project as a test resource, here in the data directory, and it contains a comment in the first row, which is skipped by default, by the way. Uh, and after that, there are mappings of cards to their expected values inside of an empty hand. So when I run this test case using this file, 52 invocations are generated, one per line in the CSV file. 